Before Christopher Columbus could set sail, he needed official sponsorship from a throne. He needed some dinero, some cashish, some bling. He needed the kind of cha-ching you could only get from a king. Or in this case, a king and a queen. So around the year 1485, Columbus came up with a bold proposal. Which is why we find ourselves here in Spain. Columbus had spent 20 years traveling through Europe trying to meet with any royalty that would listen to his pitch. He had given his medieval PowerPoint presentation to the King of Portugal, possibly as early as 1471, then years later to England and France. Every time, he was rejected. Columbus, often traveling with his son Diego, was rejected on multiple occasions in Spain in the 1490s. His idea was too extreme, too risky. The timing was just wrong. Columbus was out of options. What he needed was a miracle. A convent seemed like a good place to find one. When Christopher Columbus knocked on the doors of this place, he was at the lowest point of his entire life. He was penniless hungry, couldn't even afford food to eat, with his young son Diego in tow. The two had been all over Europe speaking before kings, looking for money to fund his voyage to no avail. But it was two monks from right here that took him in, fed him, and took care of him. But little did Columbus know that these two monks weren't your normal monks. They had friends in high places. One of the monks, Father Juan Perez, was a friend and supporter of Columbus. Columbus explained that his last resort was going to be one more meeting with the King of France. But Father Perez decided it was time to use his connections. You see, one of Father Perez's duties was to hear the confessions of the Queen of Spain. Christopher Columbus was allowed entry into the royal court of Spain, where he made his big pitch to the monarchs Ferdinand and Isabella. But this time things had changed. After 700 years of Islamic domination of Spain, Ferdinand and Isabella had successfully defeated the Muslims, called the Spanish Moors, in a recent battle. They had driven the Moors out of the key port city of Granada down in southern Spain. Peace had broken out across the country and Spain was unified and they were in the mood to expand. Columbus got virtually everything he had hoped and prayed for. He had found royal patrons, which took care of the financing he needed for ships, supplies, and crews. He had even asked for, if you will, a piece of the action. If he discovered gold or other riches, he would get a percentage of everything, along with getting the naming rights and becoming the ruler of any new lands he discovered. 